I know this is difficult for you, Stephen. But the Sanctum is gone, and we need to plan for what comes next. What's next? Armageddon has already happened. What's next is hell on Earth. The barrier has been breached. Expect the world to fall, city by city, nation by nation. I'm not ready to give up, and neither should you. It's not just losing the Sanctum that hurts us. It's also Banner. We will handle him, as long as he doesn't become the Hulk. It's his mind that I'm most worried about. That rift charge is just the start of the awful things he could conceive of. He is Lilith's most powerful weapon now. Then you know what we need to fight back with, right? We tried. Blaze is being impossible, unless he gives us the parchment. Shh. Voices carry. Let us lower ours. Today's not the day to sleep in, Hunter. Get to the war room. Lilith and her minions did a number on New York. Yes. And New York is just a taste of what is to come if we do not stop her. I haven't seen the city in such a state since Blade and I tore through Times Square. That was even worse. What happened between you and Blade? Do you want the long version or the short version? I want details. It was our first encounter. Blade wondered if I was an alien, because I was unlike any other vampire he'd fought. You are unlike any other vampire. Hmm, true. Anyway, he tried to stab me with a wooden stake. I threw him off the roof of a building. The battle only ended after I drained him of a few pints of blood. Wait, do you mean you bit Blade? Oh yes. In fact, I believe my bite granted Blade his vampiric strength. Blade says he was born a vampire. Well, that's his side of the story. But I know the man I once fought only grew stronger after that encounter. I am unsure who to believe. I may ask Blade about this. No need. I just told you everything you need to know. He's a bit sensitive about the topic. I can't imagine how Doctor Strange feels right now. I would like to offer my sympathies, but... You do not wish to disturb him. I'm sure he'd like to be with his own thoughts. I think Doctor Strange would appreciate time alone to collect himself before having us approach him. Thanks for the insight. I understand everyone has their own way of grieving. I don't want to be insensitive or pushy. For what it is worth, I do not think your concern would count as either of those things. I hope he feels the same. Either way, I recognize how important it is to have a safe haven to return to. Did the X-Men have a similar home? We do. We've had several close calls, but there's still a place for us to return to. I don't want Steven to think I'm pitying him. Doctor Strange will not assume you are offering him pity. He will know you are being genuine. I worry. I suppose it just depends on how I word it. Coming from someone who is still learning their social cues, that is very true. <laughs> Maybe we can workshop something together. I appreciate your help, Hunter. Don't ask me how many times I am in asking to charge them. I heard Strange's spooky funhouse went poof. But look on the bright side. Things can't get any worse. 
I am a little surprised by your optimism. Why? Half the weirdos here have survived more than one apocalypse. How's going bye-bye isn't too bad. You have a point, but Strange just lost his home. This was another major loss. Eh, sorry, pal, but I find it hard to cry over a bunch of wood and nails. Unless I'm crashing through a building. Eesh. You have never had a home? Nope. Not unless you count the abandoned subway system. She may have smelled like garbage, but it was my garbage. The Abbey's the only home you ever had, right? Correct. I spent my entire life here. And what came after? So you'd be like Dr. Magic Man if this place went down in flames. It is hard to imagine myself without the Abbey. Kinda like how it's hard to imagine me without Hydra Bob. I get it. Home can sometimes be a person. Ugh. You read that off a doormat? I won't say a peep to Doctor Strange about his house. Don't worry. They say the Pacific Ocean has no memory, Hunter. But you are looking at the Atlantic. Really? Well, that explains so much. Just think. A few years ago, I was just your quintessential 98-pound high school freshman weakling. Even the lunch ladies used to shake me down for milk money. Now look at me. Hanging with the legendary Hunter and the Midnight Suns in their super-secret Atlantic Ocean base. We are happy to have you. That's just it. What if that radioactive spider had decided to chomp down on someone else's behind? What would old non-arachnid me be? Something tells me you would have changed the world regardless, Peter Parker. Changed the world? Let's not get carried away here. I may have helped out a bit in the neighborhood, but... You have certainly impacted me. Right back at you, pal. You know, Hunter, I've been to a lot of truly amazing places since I put on the old spider tights. Way beyond my little neighborhood in Queens. But when all is said and done, there is nowhere I'd rather be right now than here with the rest of you. They actually said end of the world on the news. Any news from the West? Getting reports of zombies in the sewers. Vampires in Manhattan? More. Vampires in Manhattan. The green sky is growing. All right. Let's not give in to rumors. Sorry, Cap. I don't think these are just rumors. The old Spidey sense has been on double red alert since... We lost the Sanctum? Perhaps now you understand why I was so adamant we save it. Think of the Sanctum as our world's supernatural ozone layer. When it breaks down or explodes... Holes open up. Only in this case, instead of a nasty sunburn, you get demons. Lots of demons. And his children basked in his light as the temple of the false gods fell. Oh, what album is that from? The prophecy. The dark god Cthon readies his return. Well, does the dark god Cthon own a dude ranch in the southwest? Because there's a whole lot of something going on out there. 
Should, uh, probably tell them. About? The carnival. Johnny Blaze and the Quentin Carnival. No way. Who exactly is Johnny Blaze? Guy's sort of a, a jerk. Legend. Famous stunt rider, fellow spirit of vengeance. And keeper of the parchment of power. The final page of the Darkhold. The missing piece my mother needs to complete the prophecy and free Cathan. When were you gonna tell the rest of us this? Welcome to our world. The entire point of a secret guardian is to remain secret. Yeah? From the look of things, I say your little secret is out. With the barrier gone, our enemies must have been able to detect the page's foul presence. Lord knows what wretched evil Lilith sent to retrieve it. On the bright side, Hunter, you didn't turn into a symbiote monster. Strange and Tony should start our lost headquarters support group. The Sanctum's gone. It's unbelievable. There really is nothing sacred to Lilith. This is not going the way I wanted it to. The Sanctum's gone. Hell has literally come to Earth. This is a worst case. Surrender. Maybe you can give them a lesson they won't forget. I'll ensure it's done. What? Friends? The light shines on the most dutiful. Are you prepared? That was really... something. Interesting tactic.
Ready to smack around a few red shirts? tradition. Take more than that, I'm afraid. That'll work. Whatever gets the job done. I'm saving my energy. Keep it within 
my power, it will be done. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Even a sorcerer supreme has been to grow. They'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. supposed to have shop class tonight, but Robbie... Tony really got under his skin. I've never seen him this mad. Can you help me talk him down? Lead the way. Thanks, Hunter. You've gone too far, Tony! Explain how replacing outdated equipment is a problem. You moved my car! It was in the way, and I moved it back. Ah, uh, crap. All this flashy junk isn't why I'm here. Why any of the rest of us are here. Well, I'm here to make progress. If you aren't, then get out of the way. Never meet your heroes. I get it now. I don't know why I thought you could change. Robbie just needs a little space. Let's get started. Now that we know Wanda's a threat, you'll need an edge if you face her again. What kind of edge? Nothing that involves her coming to harm. We're looking at ways to protect you from her abilities. How is that possible? Our first prototype keeps you connected to the real world in case Wanda alters it around you. Like an anchor, tethering me to reality? Exactly! If Wanda alters your reality, our second prototype alters it back. Robbie got the idea from his spirit of vengeance. I think the prototype is powered by Hellfire, so best not to jostle it. Like a button I press to reset her alterations. Or a broadcast interfering with her own transmission. Perfect. You got it. Thanks for getting me those components. We're good to go. Time to... Uh, Tony. What's up? I think your gearhead pal is still wound up. Uh, okay. Hunter, give me a minute. I want to make sure Robbie's okay. Take your time. I'll assemble the prototype for the Hunter. Oh, I'd prefer to hold off. There are some details I want to go over before we begin. Oh, come on. You've managed so far. How hard can it be for me? Uh, sure. Fine. Before we get started, I've noticed Parker takes twice as long to finish these prototypes than he should. I have some ideas. We should get started. You know what? It's just easier if I show you. Okay. Sit back and watch the master at work. You looking for a round two? I don't want to butt heads, but to quote a friend of me, I can do this all day. Tony, I, I don't want to fight you. You were my hero growing up. Kids do love Iron Man. Not Iron Man. You, Tony. The man who could fix any problem with technology. What do you want, Robbie? Ten years ago, you bought the Salazar steel plant, then shut it down. Do you remember what you said at the press conference? When you announced the Stark Technology Center? Uh, something witty? You said, I'm here to make progress. 
If you aren't, you should get out of my way. Tony, you put half the families in my neighborhood out of work. And for what? You never even broke ground on that technology center. I don't even remember this. Three years later, most of the families who you put out of work had moved away. Follow the jobs, you know? The rest of us weren't so lucky. That's when things got real bad. But those families had it right. You need to know when it's time to move on. So good luck with shop class. I hope it's all the progress you want it to be. You too, Parker? Yeah, Tony. If I could manage it, how hard can it be for you? <sighs> Damn it. What just happened? Robbie never mentioned anything about a steel plant. He said 10 years ago? I don't remember buying a steel plant in LA. Was he wrong? Probably not. Salazar Steel. That name is familiar. I can fix this. Maybe, but not tonight. Nico bet that I couldn't beat her high score. Now I'm out 20 bucks. I wouldn't have guessed we'd become such fast friends. If 
I sneak up on Iron Man and go boom. 